All right, so, um, you know, first through full day preparing for Mercer. Guys played well Saturday. They have played very well last year. They play extremely hard. Um, you know, even if you go back two years ago when they were at Alabama, how well they played on defense, how well they played early, but especially on defense in that game and the problems they gave them. And so um, we're going to have our hands full. Have to prepare really well and um, get ready to play in a lot of heat also and be prepared for what comes with that and how to how to play through that. And so we got a lot of work to do. I thought that <clears throat> the mock game went really well, which is not always the case every year. I thought the guys did a really good job of responding to making it like a game day and their energy and their communication and substitutions, um, whatever the score was, 72 nothing or something, which I think on the surface everybody would expect that's how it is no matter what, but it, it is not that way every year. We come out of that game frustrated sometimes, so <clears throat> that was good to see. So back to work and really like where, the, where they are um, as a team as far as the way that they work how they prepare. I don't know that how they're going to play for sure, but I do like that part of them so far. Lane, have you decided who's going to be starting at quarterback Saturday? Um, we've not made that final decision. Um, we're very excited about <clears throat> all of the guys. As far as for the starter, that's one of the key people. And both guys extremely well, made really explosive plays Saturday, and just off offense well, and feel very confident with either of them. You mentioned in your opening statement about, you know, trying to prepare uh, to play during the heat and trying to figure out what that's going to look like. What does that preparation look like? Well, the good thing is we're playing at home, so we, we have this heat to practice, and it's not like, you know, we're going to a different region. So um, we have it here. We played at the exact same time Saturday. So dealt with that and dealt with the heat out there Saturday. And that means that you got to really push yourself and um, and also expect to play multiple players and be ready for your role, whatever that role is, um, how many snaps that is. But usually in this type of heat, you end up playing more players. So good opportunity for guys. Lane, what, what would you still like to learn from Spencer and Jackson before you make that call? Uh, I just still like to collect information and um, still keep practicing and keep pushing forward. And like I said, I feel extremely confident in both guys um, can take and, and win games, and both guys have, so um, on big stages, which is very unusual to have. That's more like in the NFL you have veterans like that. So. Um, I wouldn't think too many people have that. You know, two guys that have been on the big stage and performed well, so we're excited. Mike, what are your thoughts on the the new rule with the uh, clock continuing on first downs? Yeah, I don't like it. I mean, I, I like change when it's needed, and um, you know, so <clears throat> I'm sure most offensive guys don't like it. Most defensive guys do. Um, so there was a glaring difference. Now, it's only so many games were played this weekend, but you know, it was 1.6 or 1.7 possessions different from last year, um, which is a lot. So that would be a, that, that would be a big difference. <clears throat> so uh, I don't like it. I think the game was very exciting. I think college football is very exciting. Fans love it. People love it. So I don't think this change um, was needed at all. But we're kind of run by some defensive coaches, if you haven't noticed lately, the last few years, and all rule changes. Every one of them has been defensive oriented. We even change what pass interference is on defense now. Now they don't have to look at the ball, and if they run into us, it's not pass interference. So I wonder who's on that committee. Lane, is there anything that you're looking forward to learning that's maybe easier to evaluate once you're in a real game situation versus practice or a mock game? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, we try to do the best that we can. Obviously, there's no crowd out there, and um, you know the the nerves that go with go with being on television, and so you don't ever know for sure. You don't ever know for sure at the next level in the NFL, even when they played in big college games, you see people perform different. So um, you just never know. You just try to make it the closest that you can and study the players and their habits and how they react. Our readers have been asking a lot about uh, Zachary Franklin. What, what can you tell, what does he bring to the field when he's healthy from what you've seen? And do you have maybe a timetable update for our readers? Yeah, he's not out there practicing yet, um, unfortunately. So it's hard for me to answer what he looks like. We obviously know what he's looked like before. A couple thousand yard seasons there and really big time playmaker um, there. But we, we don't know that yet. Um, and anticipate him out there soon. How do you feel having shifted now from install and kind of just working on yourselves to now entering game week with where the defense is and what Golding's been able to kind of do up to this point the last month? I feel really good. Um, you know, the way that they communicated with each other all Saturdays, but last Saturday and, um, you know, getting 11 guys on the same page and putting in enough stuff that causes problems, but not too much stuff that we don't know what we're doing. So, um, again, I'd never worked with Pete. I Obviously, had a lot of people in common that had worked with him and heard about him for a long time, and um, and it was just keenly impressed. And I understand why so many coaches have spoke so highly of him um, from a schematical standpoint and and just the ability to see everything. You've had concern with all the new faces about chemistry. In August, have you seen some good chemistry so far? Yeah, I have. I've seen really good chemistry. Um, I don't think if you pull up a year ago, I, I said that. So you're obviously not going to be a coach to sit up here and say, man, I feel really bad about it. Um, but I didn't feel this way a year ago. And that ended up showing itself, unfortunately. Um, I, I feel much different about this. Um, I feel like you have a ton of new players majority of them have played a lot and um, have come in with the right attitude of, of buying into the team and what can they do even in reduced roles at times um, from you know what they've done before or what they were hoping because everybody hopes they're the guy I mean that's just how it works and um, so but again it's easier now than it is once you get in season and things aren't going the way you want them to go but been very pleased about that. Seemed like toward the end of fall camp, y'all were kind of experimenting with guys up front despite some of the starts that are returning from a year ago, just trying to put different people in different spots. Just at this point of where we are right now going into week one, do you feel like that unit is kind of set at this point? <coughs> Sorry, on offense? And on the offensive line. Yeah. Um, uh, I do feel confident up there <coughs> in a number of players. Um, and if we were playing today, we would rotate some. Um, and not just play the same five. So I feel really good about that. <coughs> uh, Lane, we see Chris Graves is on the roster now. Do, do you expect to have him available? I know there might have been a, a waiver situation there. Um, <coughs> yeah, he. we expect him to play. Um, and all the information we've got is that um, he was eligible immediately. So that's our expectation. Now he's got a long ways to go to – he's got here you know, to learn what to do and to catch up with us. I think we asked you this right after we saw him, maybe that first scrimmage, but what jam – how has he come along these last couple of weeks of fall camp and kind of see him fitting into that running back situation? Yeah, jam's done well at running back and special teams. Um, very competitive, really exciting out there. Has made a, a bunch of plays, and so that's a, a really – Really good addition um, for this time of year to be able to make. We're excited about. Going back to the question about Chris Graves, um, of course he came on a little bit later on, but was the addition of him? Did you see that as more of kind of a you know a luxury get, or was that kind of was that just a numbers decision to bring him in? Uh, I would say that's 
that's more kind of pro model, um, you know, roster management. Not a lot of numbers there. Some injuries, um, some different things uh, at corner. So, like you would in the NFL, you'd look to bring in um, some number help there. So, um, that was not a situation um, where, hey, we've got all these players at a position. Here's just this really good player. We're just going to add them. Um, that that was that was more of need. Yeah, I think that they just never played together. I know every team's like that every year, but more than ever, especially defensively, but a lot of offensive guys too have not played together, and um, you know that that's a lot. This is sport this is not like a lot of other sports where you can just plug guys in and they just go play I mean you got offense defense special teams and all the substitutions and learning and, and cohesiveness that have to happen for units to play well this is you guys know not an individual sport so um, it'll be a lot to see all these pieces together and see how they look Coach, last year, Q had a fantastic year, very durable at the end as a freshman, I thought. It was kind of unique. Going into the second season with him, obviously you want him to have a lot of touches. Is there a durability issue? Are you going to you know, may, maybe manage those touches or let him go as long as he can? Yeah, I don't, we're not going to put numbers on that. I mean, every season's unique, every game's unique, and so we're going to do the best things to win and um, you know, whatever that is each week. You know, it may vary and be different, but um, I can't tell you that right now. Lane, do you feel like this is probably your deepest team with quality players since you've been here? Yeah, I do. Um, I think that um, we do have probably better backups than we've had ever. Um, but again, this is not an individual sport, and a lot of it is how you play together and how you come together, so that's still to be seen. Defensive question here. You guys added a, a lot of uh, talent to the secondary through the transfer portal. We've kind of seen John Saunders make some plays through there. What have you kind of seen from him in, in particular? Um, can do a lot of things. Um, really long, can run well. Um, we're excited about him. Really good culture guy, student of the game, studies really hard. Um, so we're excited about him on defense and special teams. All right, thanks, Edward. Thank you. All right, guys, thanks.